Good morning. Good morning, people of God. I hope everyone rested well and you're off to a good start on this um, Monday morning. I just want to say good morning and I hope you have a blessed and um, no, you will. Not I hope, you will. You will have a blessed and prosperous day if you believe it. Just believe it. Speak over yourself. Command your morning. I hope you already done that. You know, bless yourself. Release um, blessings over yourself. And um, just think positive throughout the day. Know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. He's not giving up on you. Though some of your visions tarry, continue to wait for them. Believe in yourself. You know, and um, just have a blessed day. I want you to have a blessed and a prosperous day. I'm getting out a little later this morning. I got to wait on some things, some stuff I'm going to do, um, paperwork and stuff I'm going to do. So I'm not getting out as early as I normally get out on this Monday morning. So I'm going to have finish sipping on me some hot ginger tea and just relax into my Monday morning. Um, drinking something hot in the morning is very, very, is very, very good for the body, especially, um, you know, ginger. That's one of my favorites. Drinking ginger, it has a lot of, uh, uh ginger tea. It has a lot of cancer fighting abilities. You know, it calms the nervous system. It's good for pain. Um, so many different things. And also it energizes the body. So, um. I like drinking ginger tea as, uh, and it relaxes the nervous system as well. And there's a lot of other teas that I also mix and I drink. And then there are times when I go on a detox. Uh, sometimes when I do a detox, I will um, just drink nothing but teas, different tea mixtures um, for like 48 to 72 hours or something. Um, just teas and it really cleans the body out and you'll notice it within 24 hours if, especially if you've never been on a detox before if you stop uh, eating and just detox your body it will definitely heal the body or just you know it's just good to do every now and then so anyway I start my morning out with something hot yep 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 so I just hope you guys have a blessed day a prosperous day um, and that's it. Believe in yourself. Keep yourself motivated. Um, you know, stay in the word of God and, um, surround yourself with people who are, um, you know, like-minded going in the same direction that you going in. If you don't know any like-minded folk, then stay roll solo. It's okay. You know, in the latter part of, um, I'm in the, actually, I'm almost done with the book of Mormon. I'm actually in the last chapter. Um, I'm actually on the book of, um, Moroni. I didn't start it yet. So I finished ether. Um, at, what did I finish ether at? Yeah. I finished ether at chapter 15 and then it goes on to the book of Moroni and that's the last book. So, I thought I had a lot more to go, but that, it's a, a thick index in the book. Yeah, it's a thick index. So, I'll be done with that. And when I'm done with that, I'll be back on my, back into the Seifer, um, where I left off in the Seifer. So, I'm excited about that. Uh, yeah, so, I just, I didn't take what was handed to me. I opened the book and re read the pages for myself and that's what you got to do when you want to learn something and you'll be surprised what you learn when you um get in tune with just reading and studying for yourself at the end of the conclusion of the book of ether you will see where um pretty much the people destroyed themselves yeah they destroyed themselves and god lifted his spirit um from them because of their stubbornness and their their hard heartedness, their rebellion, and they continue to go to war and fight without God's presence with them. You know, and you can't win without God's presence. So, uh, Coriantum he began losing his battles, and they he kept going back and forth um, to battle um, until him and um, what's his name, him and. Uh, it was Shiz. Yeah, him and the people of Shiz. 
and they ended up destroying each other to where it was just him and Shiz left. <laughs> and he ended up cutting off Shiz's head, but then he, all of his army was gone, you know. So um, the people just continued to fight against each other until they destroyed one another. And they lost the presence, the, the spirit of God. You know, they aborted that spirit because of their rebellion, their iniquity. So we want to always do what we have to do. We want to learn from them folk. <laughs> learn from them folk. Our ancestors, right? Learn from them. And we want to always do what we have to do to keep God's presence and his spirit with us. And we also don't want to self-destruct. So therefore, we have to separate ourselves from those who are on paths, uh, destructive paths, um, the battle is the Lord's, you know, we will get the victory as long as we continue to trust in our God, um, you know, just keep him first in all things. Uh, we shall always be victorious. God's always, God has always kept his people, um, at peace and being victorious when their minds were stayed on him. And when they were um, walking in obedience, living righteous lives. So um, we see that wickedness, the wicked fall by their own calamity. Uh, we see that scripture played out in um, chapter 15 of Ether. Uh, they all fell by their own calamity. They self-destructed. And that's not God's plans for you and I. We're not going to self-destruct. We're going to continue to thrive and flourish as long as we keep our God first. That's all we have to do. Yeah, so keep studying. Take the word of God with you wherever you go. Keep it in your heart. Keep a scripture on your mind to meditate on that thing day and night throughout the day. Yep, and it's going to always be well for God's people. So anyway... Have a blessed day. If nobody told you that they loved you this morning, I'm telling you, you know your little country bunkin sister loves you. There's only one of you in this whole wide world. You can do anything you put your mind to. You know, in fact, what this Philippians 4.13 tells us, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He strengthens us. You know, we serve a God who's almighty. He's alpha and omega. There is no one above him or beside him. He is the I am that I am. <laughs> so with him being our father, we can do all things through him. Yeah. Everything you put your hand to is going to continue to prosper. And never despise small beginnings. You got to start somewhere. But you're going to continue to be blessed and prosperous. <laughs> Stay positive. So that's all I wanted to say. Have a blessed day. We are the light of the world. We can't never let our lights grow dark. We got to keep shining bright. And we know that the blood of Jesus, Yeshua, our friend, our brother, our savior, his blood is the only blood that has some power. Go and be great today. God bless you.